Hey G fans, Goji Fan93 here, and today is, as you can tell, I have my pink razor manliness. So that means it is a box day. All right. So this figure, uh, I I know I always say I'm excited, like in every single unboxing video, but this one, like, legitimately, I am ultra excited. Okay, like, oh, so it's really small, uh, but like. You'll just, just see, just see, it's, it's awesome. So, I also have to give a tremendous shout out to Tyler Boots Carlson for hooking me up with this guy. Uh, he, th like, this figure was only available through the Rick site um, for X Plus, and in order to buy from the Rick site, you need to have, like, the Japanese accounts and all that. Like, they won't, like, you can't really have an American account on there. Like, you have to have, you basically have to have a middleman who can, like you order the figure, but he gets it to you, kind of like the way Mike Johnson does his stuff with like Rich Eso and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, Tyler made it. It was super efficient through PayPal, all that good stuff. I mean, it was like so quick, super efficient, and I uh, great. And and he uh, he was nice enough to send this over with two day shipping. So I was just like, oh my god, it was great. So thank you, man. You're awesome for hooking me up with this guy because originally I thought I was gonna have to pass on this and that would have really sucked uh, because um, surprisingly this figure wasn't really that expensive. So there's a little hint. Oh, Toho series, we haven't seen this in a while. What could this be? What could this be? It is a 25 centimeter box and I don't usually get 25 centimeters a lot because I don't mind 25, I love getting 25 centimeters. I have a couple right here, if you can see them, the King Caesar and Mechagodzilla, but um, it's just that Diamond has been reissuing the 30 centimeter figure, so I just haven't really had um, a lot of, uh, oh man, that is awesome. All right, so you guys ready to see what this guy is? <gasps> Boom, the X plus 25 centimeter Jet Jaguar. Yes, I just am. Super excited. Now also, if you can see here, that glare, oh my god. What does that mean? Something version? That means this is a Rick exclusive figure because one, obviously I got it from the Rick site, uh, but this is the very first Rick version I have of any figure. Personally, I don't like to get the Rick uh, figures or the Rick versions of any figure because I don't necessarily like the light-up features or some of the gimmicks that come with them. Uh, I just think it's a little bit overpriced. But for this guy, um, one, this was the only way to get him. You couldn't get a standard version of this reissue. Um, and also, it's it was a very cheap price, so um, I, I, I couldn't pass on it. It's, it's freaking Jet Jaguar, and I can cross this off my list because this is just awesome, so. Um, let's get this guy out. Uh, oh, and the Rick um, thing of this figure is light up. He's a light up figure, which you know. Once again, I'm not a huge fan of light up figures. I mostly got it for the figure himself, but um, there he is, out of his box there. Uh, but I, I I got him for the figure itself, like for the character. So uh, I can finally cross Jet Jaguar off of my list of. Kaiju from the Godzilla series that I need to get. So, um, and also this guy was um, not a planned figure. Uh, you know, I I pre-ordered the Diamond figures that have been coming out like last year. So those are the only figures that I that I like planned out to get. Um, but then X Plus decided to you know have this guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, he popped out of his thing. I thought he was gonna fall. Okay. Uh, anyways, X Plus was. Uh, they decided to reissue this guy, and he came out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I gotta get him. And then also, they, they, uh, gonna be coming out with, um, Gamacris, um, later this month. And I also couldn't pass that up, because it's freaking Gamacris, and yeah, he's not my favorite monster, but it'd be great to have an X-plus representation of that, uh, monster, so. Alright, so here he is, and I love the size of him. I think... It's the perfect size. He's not going to take up any space on the shelf. Um, and he, he just feels great. He feels great. Now, I will say, he feels a little bit toyish. Um, he kind of reminds me of the Titanosaurus X+. If you guys 
Uh, well, actually, I don't think I really said it in the video because it was a silent unboxing, but I kind of, um, my opinion with the Titanosaurus X Plus figure was that it just feels kind of toyish, as in, like, it just doesn't really look like an X Plus figure, it just feels more like a toy. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just kind of weird to, to, like, have an X Plus figure that doesn't really, like, feel like, you know, what they're supposed to be. But, okay. I'm trying to get his boot off without breaking his leg off because I'm kind of worried that, oh my god, they got this like really tight on his freaking foot. Oh my god, don't break it. I'm trying to get this freaking thing off. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. One sec. One sec. Pink Razor Manliness to the rescue. Help. Help Jet. Help Jet. Help him. Oh my god. Okay, don't hit the vinyl please. That would be awful. Oh my god, his foot's... Okay, there we go. Got it. Yay! Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so there he is. So that's... There is Jet Jaguar in all of his glory. He's... I mean, you guys can see how, like, big he is compared to me. Like, you know, I have big hands, so this isn't really that bad. But he is part of the 25-centimeter figure, or 25-centimeter line. Um, let's bring out King Seesaw. Um, as you can see, they are pretty much the same size so they, they fit perfectly in scale as the 70s Godzilla allies which is pretty awesome we got King Caesar from Mega Godzilla and Jet Jaguar from Megalon it's great so uh, yeah all right put him back there uh, but that is not all there is there is still more with this figure um, so as you can see back here there's a base and obviously um, once again not a big fan of these you know accessories and stuff but I feel like the base might actually help Jet Jaguar because, the, oh, and by the way, the only other figure I have of Jet Jaguar is, he's sitting right there on my shelf in front of me, but um, is he's uh, the little small high-grade Gasapon figures. They, you know, that's really the only thing I've, I've had of Jet Jaguar, but this is like the first true big figure I've had of Jet, so I'm pretty excited. Um, but here is the base. Now, the reason I, I just realized why there's a base with this, it's not only to hold him, um, but because, since this is the Rick exclusive, they have the light-up feature right here. So, uh, I guess we were just gonna pull the tab right there to activate the battery, and then I guess, uh, oh, that's actually really clever! So, okay, so most, um, I'm gonna get this packaging out of my way. Most of the uh, X Plus figures that are light up features, they have usually what's on the back of them is like a little hole and then it, it has like a battery. If you guys see, I mean, obviously for the people who watch Richie, so you see a lot of videos that he uh, does a review and they have like the little battery pack that's by them. You just click on and off and then like, you know, their spot, the spikes glow if they're like Godzilla or whatever. But this one, there's no, there's nothing like that, and I'm actually very happy about that because that's one of the reasons I don't collect the Ricks because of that big hole, and that just kind of bothers me. I don't really like that. But what they've done is that this is the hole. I hear a little bit of, yeah, you know, that's kind of weird. But um, let's stick him. On. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> That scared me. I thought that that was broken, like right here. I thought that that was broken because I was trying to put his foot on. No, all it is is just a little sleeve for the actual. Oh, it's a three. It's a bleh. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, all right. So let's put him on. Right here. Plug him in. And I. What? What is this? I don't, I don't know what that stubs for. I don't know what else that stub is about. Is that to, hmm, weird. Okay, so that is in, and now we're gonna test out, I don't know if, I mean, cause it's kind of, it's daylight right now, I don't know if the lighting is, effect is gonna work, but let's, let's see what it looks like. On, oh, whoa, 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 that, it's a little bit weird. There we go, boom, whoa, okay, oh wow, he, ha okay, so he has to be like really, planted on on that for it to work that looks really cool actually <laughs> it's like wing whirr, whatever his, his roar is but yeah here I get my ugly mug out of the way here yeah look at that that's badass all right now um to be honest once again I'm not really that caring about the light up feature so I'm not really gonna I mean once the battery runs out I'm not gonna replace it because I don't really care that much but 
it is nice that that was a very clever way of hiding the battery. Now I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna see if he can stand on his own uh, without this without this stand. Oh, he can. Okay, you guys can see him right there. So he so he doesn't need the base. Actually, it looks like he's looks like he's actually pretty good there. So okay, that's that's cool. That's good. But I mean, hey, I might as well utilize this stand in a way. Um, you know, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll take a picture later tonight and post it when when he's like glowing and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so there it is, guys. There is the 25 centimeter uh, X Plus Jet Jaguar Rick exclusive, very first Rick figure that I've ever owned, and I'm very pleased with it. It looks awesome. Detail is really amazing. Uh, once again, thank you, Tyler, so much. Um, if if you guys are looking for any X Plus figures on the Rick sites and need a connection. Tyler is the guy to go. He's on the X Plus Collectors Group. Uh, yeah, massive shout out, man. Thank you so much for hooking me up with this. Without you, I would have not been able to get this guy. So thank you guys so much for watching. And that's it for me. Stay big, G fans. Boing.